Once again, one of the greatest tricks ever on YouTube, where the guitar magically appears. Are you ready? One, two, three. And there it is. <laughs> What's happening, YouTube? Let's, it's good to see y'all back here again. Got an old uh, 1970 Sigma guitar here on the chopping block today. This guitar finds its way here about once a year, sometimes a, t a couple times a year. Uh, I'll tell you a little story about it as we go along. Uh, there's the headstock, and uh, it's got the herringbone. You see that herringbone there? Enlarged sound hole. The back of it smoked like that. I don't, I don't know what it was like that when I the very first time I ever saw the guitar, it was that way. And yeah, it doesn't hurt the sound of it, either, so I just left it alone. This guitar used to belong to me, uh, believe it or not. <coughs> in 2009, I bought this guitar for 50 bucks. You couldn't play it. I mean, the action was so high on it, you couldn't play it, and the neck was had a big, way, way too much relief. I thought maybe the truss rod was broken, but it turned out it was just really loose. And it had heavy strings cranked up on it, making a lot of relief. But anyways, got it for $50, man. And the thing sounds sweet. I'm not going to play it a lot right now, but I'll show you what it sounds like. as you can probably hear is fret buzz. Right there. And uh, by it having so much fret buzz right here, uh, I've got a pretty good idea what it needs. We check the action here first. On the bass E string, 12th fret, the action is 664s. Make, no, make that 564s. And on the high E string, 464s. 464s and 564s, that's, that's pretty low action for a, a guitar like this. Anyways, uh, fret buzz, that's why it's here. It, like say it comes in once a year. Uh, I sold a guitar, I don't own it anymore. I, I bought, it, bought it for 50 bucks, fixed it, sold it to my son for 100 bucks. Biggest mistake I ever made. But, you know, he still brings it around lets me play it now and then. And of course, I get to work on it still. <laughs> I'll show you what it sounds like later, though. But right now, uh, I'll bring you over a little bit closer. First thing I'm going to check is that neck relief, because it seems to me like it's got too much back bow, not enough relief in the neck. Because it only buzzes right here near the center of the neck. Let me bring you closer and we'll have a look. Hope you all are doing well. We've been uh, finally got a break from the heat here. Yeah, I'm actually hoarse now and I feel like I'm catching a cold because I guess because of the weather changing so much. I don't know. And cue ball has arrived for those of you that uh, like a cue ball fix. Now I'm going to note this all the way down on next to the la on the last fret. Okay, because that truss rod is right there, I mean, just inside of this hole. So it's probably got control over pretty much the, the whole thing here. Come down here at the 7th fret, and I got a 12 thousandths here. And you can see it's less than that. Definitely shoving that string up. Okay, let's try 10 and see what happens. Wow, it's less than 10. Okay, let's go with 8. 
Holy shit, I didn't think it was that straight of a neck. I've got an eight now. I think it's possibly a six. That seems a bit tight, yeah. Alright, here's a six, and they're getting very thin. Seventh fret. It's less than six, folks. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, what can we go down to now? Here's a four. Foa. There's a gnat flying around here on me. Cold weather driving them in. This neck, it's it's. Uh, I'm down to a four thousandths here. Let me just stick this. I've got a two is the smallest I have right here in this set of gauges. And it even touches. Well, there, on the ninth fret, it'll go under there without shoving the string up. So, we got two, two thousandths neck relief. So, what are we going to do? Uh, let's see. What do we, how do you fix that? <laughs> I have... A five millimeter wrench here, but I think it's too long to go inside of there because, yeah, well, I can get it on there, but it's it's going to hit the hole back here. So, just happened to have this, and we we need to loosen the truss rod. Now we can do that under string tension. Remember, we can loosen it. Never tighten your truss rod while the, while your strings are tight. Get another bite here. That's a total of about a quarter of a turn. Now we would like to see general generally I like to see twelve thousandths neck relief, okay? He wants this set at ten or eight even, so I have a ten here right now. That definitely made a difference, loosening that rod, but it's less than that. Okay, have an eight. Still touching the string. Yeah, let's go a little bit more with that. Another eighth to a quarter of a turn. That's looking better. A little bit tight there and there, but it goes under this ninth fret. Just grazing it and that's at eight so I like that I'm gonna leave that there and uh, see how much we raise the action hold on so it was 564 and 464 before and I always pick this this gauge up exactly wrong every time man Okay, now it's 664 is here, and 564 is on the bottom. We was at uh, 1 16th of an inch, we're just a tiny bit over that now. 664 is on the base string, and 564 is on the high E string. Let's check those frets and see if, if it still buzzes. We have to retune.
high fret right there. I guess we should be checking for a high fret. What do you think? Bring you over here closer for that. But y'all, yeah, man, I gave 50 bucks for this guitar. And uh, I hadn't been playing music at the time, so I wasn't really even interested in it. That fret that was buzzing on the first string was on the uh, fifth fret right here, but I'm going to check before it and after it. And I'm not going to go you know between every string because none of those buzz it was only the first string I'll measure close to it and I played this guitar several years and then I sold it like I say to my son bought it ah there it is that's the 8th 12 11 10 9 8 7th fret You know if the camera's picking that up or not. Seventh fret. Okay. Well, I'll bring you back in a few minutes when I get set up for this. Hold on. Now I've already checked, and that seventh fret is not high up here. It seems to start about the middle of the fret or just below the G string. And the farther toward the end, closer to the end you get, the more it rocks. Listen to this, right on the end of it. Quite a rock there. So what I'm going to do is just take a, uh, I can't get my diamond grit crown files in there. But I've got an old file here that's not diamond grit. But I'm just going to take that and roughly go over. I hope you can see. I hope you can see. Roughly go over the uh, bottom half of that fret. And we're crowned at the, the same time. So, And I say we check that before we go any farther. Because that file, it's not a diamond grit file, but it takes it down pretty fast. And we don't want to take too much off. stop right there that's it that's it right there I'm just going to take a yeah I should wipe that off a little bit it's got I see some remnants of silver dust in there or fret dust not necessarily silver now I won't bore you to death with this. I'm just going to, this is a thousand grit sandpaper right here. I'm going to go to 1200, 1500, and 2000. And just smooth the fret back out. Of course we'll polish all the frets. We're going to put new strings on it. And uh, I'm not going to bore you to death through me polishing all these frets, but uh, I think you get the idea. That's a thousand grit. I'll get uh, 
1200 next. I already have it right here. And then we will do, uh, oh, I don't know what we will do. <laughs> we'll do 1500 grit next, and then 2000. And then uh, polish all the frets with the chrome uh, polish stuff I showed you before. So I'll bring you back uh, later. So yeah, man. Uh, like I say, this belongs to my son now. And he's going to allow me to keep it for a few days and play it. And I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work, whatever it needs. Just like what you saw there. Show you a couple of interesting tricks and some other little things we'll do to it, fix it along the way. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video off here. And I'll come back with this guitar again after I get the frets of that fret fixed. Or it's fixed, I just need to go through the sandpaper. And we will put new strings on it, set it up, check the intonation and all that crap. But before that, before that show you another uh, little thing that's handy to know really nice to know stay tuned for that next video if that'll be cheers see you on it see you there i hope to see you there bring it <laughs>